Right, uh, we're back here today on uh, the creative world and we're going to be carrying on with the mansion. Here it is, you probably remember it from the last episode and I've put these two beacons in, they're going very high. So yeah, we're just going to carry on construction of this mansion and uh, see what happens, see what it brings us. Got a very nasty cold, been bastard honestly. Uh, we're going to need some torches. Yeah, here. What sort of tech we're looking at? Cobblestone and wood. I heard somebody say um, they didn't like cobblestone the other day. I personally I like it if it's used right. If it's just splattered all over the place then it looks shit. But if it's placed accordingly then it looks quite nice like the old wood, wood and brick. Wood and brick. So we'll just place this wood. Shit. It's lagging out already. We're just seconds into the video. And it's already screwing me up. I don't know why this always comes on. I'm going to save and quit here. Just. Because that normally provides a temporary resolution to the lag. Place all these. Right. I'm just going to place some cobblestone here. Not big enough. We're gonna have to think this through here more cleverly, much more cleverly than this. We're gonna see how this looks. I haven't really thought about the design for this, I'm just sort of making it up. How does this look? Wood. Yeah, it's alright. It's fine. No, that's not symmetrical, that just looks fucking ridiculous, that does. I'm sorry, but that looks awful. We'll just place this in. I think I'll throw in a few swear words as well. Fuck shit, bollocks, you bastard. Just for the laugh. Actually, no. Get rid of this cobble. We can have cobblestone on the front of the mansion. I prefer 
of work. If I'm honest. a lot better that way. Just gonna save and quit, sort this lag out. Oh, server. You're getting out of my house, you see. Yeah. I'm gonna force you. Yeah! Rush. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, you piece of shit. You're stupid, you're skinny bony, and you're grey. And you're on fire. Get out of it! There you go, you see, that's what happens if you mess with me. I rule this Minecraft world, and you're about to piss off as well. Yeah, fuck you, zombies, fuck you. Forced. Got more FC tonight. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm never nervous. Before I decide football games, I am today. That's how big this game is. And I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous. I think everyone else is. Hang on a second. Yeah, that's better. I can actually see how much was recorded now. Because there's a little dial down here. This is going to be really cool, this mansion, when it's finished. Uh, I'm going to live here, I'm going to move out of my other house, move in here, to this gaff. A uh, gaff is a word to describe a mistake made by a person, or it's a word, a slang word from London to describe a house or place of residence. So, yeah, it's a gaff. I went to see James Bond Skyfall the other night. Well, it wasn't the other night, it was last Friday. The Friday we broke up for half term. That's a microphone. Yes, it is. Right. Great news! That is, it's symmetrical. Means no more harassment from this bastard. But I just heard a spider is back in. You see, they make this new sound the spiders do. It sounds like a fucking jizzing cock. It's disturbing. It sounds like people, they walk and it sounds like. Get on me! Yeah, you see, that's what it's like. 
being a spider on Minecraft. You abuse yourself, if I'm honest. For the ceiling, we use dark wood. Just gonna save and quit again. I don't know what's wrong with it today. It's just, it's worse than it normally is today. But I'm just gonna look at the exterior of this. It's got decent amount of cobble on the front. I'm just worried now. Is that too much wood? No, that's all right. Hang on. Yeah, we'll put some bricks along there. You won't be able to notice it from the inside. We'll just put bricks there and see how that looks. I'm just sort of experimenting here, just being a bit creative. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, you bitch! Get away! Hey, you see, look at that first try. Beast sword. Yeah, this little line of bricks just there is just going to become brick rather than wood. Bricks and then blocks. Line of blocks just there is just going to be wood. No creepers tonight. Interesting. Maybe they're all ganging up somewhere to force me or something. Getting nervous for tonight as the minutes go by. Dinner soon. Scrambled egg. Toasted muffins. Mmm. Looking forward to that. Oh, I see a blagging it up a bit, banging the drum, getting complacent. It's going to be a really good game. I'm buzzing as well as being nervous at the same time. Right, that's good. So, what we're going to do now is use dark wood. We're going to make a floor. So that corresponds with the upstairs floor also being dark wood like the downstairs floor, that's good. So we might have an attic with the storage even. There's one specific Arsenal fan I know of that's not been into school today or yesterday because I support Manchester United and we beat Arsenal at the weekend, 2-1, uh, could have been 6-1 if I'm honest, but I think out of the teams we've played this season, we've played Chelsea, we've played Tottenham, we've played Newcastle, yeah there's some good teams in there as well, um, I think by far, by a long shot, Arsenal were the worst. In the game I watched Manchester United versus Southampton and in comparison with the Arsenal game, Southampton were better than Arsenal. Southampton were beating us for two minutes for um, most of the game. And with two minutes to go, we had a corner, scored, had another corner, scored. We were quite lucky to get away with that. And I think Southampton played well. And I think when we played them, they were better than Arsenal when we played Arsenal. I thought Arsenal are terrible the other day, I thought. I mean, they've got some good players. Giral, Giroud, whatever he's called it. Podolski, Kozola. Kozola's a good player. It's really good goal. Very good finish. Very good player. All around player. Good team member. But uh, Manchester United, the, the midfield, were able to trap him. Lock him out. Lock him in at the edge of his own box. He was a playmaker. He was supposed to be... Um, a creative attacking midfielder is supposed to be at the edge of our box, not the edge of his box defending. And that's what the Man United midfielders are doing for the whole lot. We beat Chelsea at the weekend as well. Last weekend, a few controversial decisions. I think it was harsh to send Torres off, if I'm honest. But that's life. Uh -huh. 